sharp pencils and start the ball rolling. Now we want the white along the top edge of that into there, into there, where it's catching the light from the light source and along here. Now we, we try very hard to just keep this light on the top half of that. It won't matter too much because we're going to put grey on the bottom half and that's going to go on now. This gives us our shadow. Obviously it's going to be blue as if you've seen the reference picture but we need a base colour. It's going to be darker. It goes in there like that. And a little bit on the right. Inside here we want some white. Now here we, we want, I'm going to put a little bit of white but really this is going to be grey but I want it to be smoother so by putting a bit of white in first and the grey then on top it just gives us a smoothness and it's exactly the same with this area because it's going to be quite dark here eventually. And that little bit of light in there helps us because when we put the grey in next it will be lighter. A little bit of extra strength. In fact, you know what? Better than that, really, folks. Forget, forget the grey for the moment there. But if we put the blue on, we'll be able to see the difference. So, put the blue on before we put the grey on the bottom inside the boat. Now that's working well. Great. And again, I might as well finish that off on that side. It gives us our shading. Good. Okay. Now we can go ahead with that. The reason you want to do this is because it wants you want, you want to put a bit of shading inside the boat, and it's going to be coloured. We'll use the ochre in a minute. That gives us our starting block, and the same here. We might as well do all this at the same time. Now we can put the ochre on. It's going to be a bit darker now because of the grey underneath. I've deliberately left that back section of the boat because that's going to have to be a little bit lighter. Okay. Good. Now we also got some more colour on there so I'm going to put a little bit of the red in. A light touch. We don't want anything too strong here. You can always put more in, you see, if we want it. But we, we've got to keep the colour tone the same as the rest of the picture. Yeah, it goes on there, that's good. Alright, now is the time when we need to darken. We need to darken that blue with the paint's grey. So instead of being bright it becomes stronger and darker. Okay. That's good. Great. And now we can put a little bit of blue on the top. And because we've got white in there originally you see it becomes a light blue. And we can always add Blue, uh, white back on top of that 
than you two. But that's coming along quite well at the moment. A little bit of depth here because this was where the shadow will be of the boat. And we can also put some of this in here now. What we want to do is to put the shadow in where is obviously going to be shadow. Leaving these light for the moment, we can darken them later. But we want to work on the light and dark rule here. So dark against there, and then as it draws up, you just ease it a little bit without it being too strong. You got it? I do the same, I can show you that again. Put it in, it's light against dark, and then again just ease it off as it comes into rest of it. Got it? And then we can use our colours that we've used before, the ochre. And what you do here is you're using the pencil as a blender. Still retaining that dark shading there. Good. Let's do the same thing here. A little bit of depth. to be darker than this area here. Now you may elect to do this a different way but I, I find that this is really the best way of tackling this. And again using the ochre as a blender. Some colour in it, some red. Be interesting for you to replay this section again to see just how I've achieved the tone in there. And we haven't finished yet because inside there we can now put just a little bit of white. Now the white again is acting as a blender, but not I haven't pressed very hard here. A very light pressure. But you see how smooth it is. And the shadow here, shadow there, but can be emphasized a bit more if we want to by putting some darker colour in it. Just there. Great. And under here will be oh, I'll put the red in. Put the red in because everything here we have has all the same tones. And we need that. And then we can put some white just here, giving ourselves a little light. It's quite when you over here later on. I'm going to be putting some dark. Let me show you that. And some light colour to show you that. And here we'll also have light. Can you see the contrast we have there now? Let's darken that just a bit more with our Payne's Grey to emphasise that area there. A little bit of blue, a bit more blue on there. Followed by the white. those as well. And we can do that by putting the ochre in and a little bit of grey. And what I shall do in a minute is I shall sharpen this up and the paint's grey and just put 
just well I can do it actually without look you just put a little bit of extra strength to, to contain that great a little bit of depth around here followed by What about this bit at the back? Now I put white in there. And now it's got that slightly wrong there, folks. So I wanted a, I wanted a gap there. And, and well, I've got it. That'll be all right. Now we're going to make that. And down there as well. Light with a grey our ochre a little bit of red because once again we've got the contrast this with the beach behind Paints grey. Let's make that just a little stronger there. There you go. There's our boat. Just a little bit of white in there. And just a little bit of grey in there. There you go. Direct. Now I've got a, a white rock here that's been dragged from over here somewhere to anchor the boat. So we put and all the usual colours on. The grey and um, the beach colour when we put in here will automatically uh, will oh, not automatically but it will find its way in on top of those detailed areas so we'll revisit them a little later on but that that's okay for the moment it gives us something to work around and I need to sharpen this to, to eventually put the rope on there but I, I won't do that yet just leave that for the moment because now what we've got to do is work on the beach 